Hello nerds, and welcome to 4 Minute First, where we give you a fast first impression of a new number one comic in four minutes or less. Coming at you shirtless today in honor of shirtless bear fighter. And if you're still watching this, it's safe to assume that you have four minutes, which is plenty of time to purchase shirtless bear fighter from Comixology, which you're going to want to do because man, oh man, this comic is 100% pure bonkers fun and should not be missed. Now, Shirtless Bear Fighter is not your traditional superhero comic, and it is not helmed by anyone you've ever heard of before, or at least not likely. But the creative team behind it takes in exactly what it says on the tin title and somehow makes it even more fun and funny than it suggests. The titular hero is abandoned as a fully bearded, well-endowed baby and raised by bears until a barely, pun intended, hint of that tragedy leads him to, and I quote directly here, fight all bears. Shirtless is approached by some government officials after humongous bears find their way into the city and cause kaiju levels of destruction. He's their only hope against these honoriosos, which can wield entire cars like weapons and destroy howitzers with ease. Now, Jody LeHupe and Sebastian Gurner write a wonderfully weird and curiously charming story, both in word and in picture, with the art being realized by artist Neil Vendrell and colorist Mike Spicer. More on them shortly. Shirtless was charged by his adopted bear father figure to protect the forest, and his adopted sibling, appropriately enough Brother Bear, grows envious. Brother Bear appears to be in cahoots with a toilet paper mogul in a mutually beneficial arrangement. Brother Bear gets to watch Shirtless die, and Fuzzy Wipes gains access to the forest with its protector out of the way. At least that's my guess. And it's not an unreasonable one, given that the Fuzzy Wipes CEO is shown being run out of the forest earlier in the comic by Shirtless and his bear family. And speaking of the word bear being used as an adjective, there's Shirtless's bear cabin, lined inside and out with pelts, as well as the bear plane, and my favorite, the bear punch. I'm still on the fence as to whether it's a silly automatopoeia or something Shirtless actually says. I'm kind of hoping it's the latter. I mean, I know it's not, but I enjoy the thought of him shouting it sort of like Captain Falcon's Falcon Punch. Falcon Punch! So Vendrell and Spicer's art really sells the story's humor in a way that the story by itself couldn't manage. So much of it is just so gloriously ridiculous that it elicits a laugh in isolation. But that's not to say that the art doesn't complement the story just as much as the story complements the art. This is very much a peanut butter and chocolate situation. And letterer Dave Lamphere's automatopoeia is just fantastic. Bear punches aside, this slap might have garnered my biggest laugh of the entire book. Shirtless Bear Fighter is the most fun I've had reading a comic in a long while, and that is less a knock on what's preceded it and more a huge compliment paid to the book. In an interview with CBR, Dirk Gurner said, We set out to create a comic that had everything that we personally love from the medium. To blend humor, action, drama, and catharsis in a way that leaves the reader feeling like, damn, comics are the best. To hit that nerve that you had as a kid or a teen when you read something you just have to show someone else. And LeHube added, why did Ibbage pick up Shirtless Bear Fighter? Because it's a great comic. Full stop. Full stop indeed. If you're enjoying 4 Minute First, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss these and other video offerings from the Nerds on Earth. And of course, there's a ton of content over at nerdsonearth.com covering movies, televisions, comics, books, video games, board games, RPGs, and more. You should also check out the Drift podcast and give it a listen for all things having to do with Paizo's upcoming Starfinder RPG, including interviews with the creators. Now, it's getting a little chilly in here, so I'm going to wish you nerds well and go put a shirt on. Later, nerds.